Holla peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. What you say? Had a lot of coffee this morning. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Yeah, honey. The weekend is here. It is Friday. The government is shut down, but that doesn't matter because it's Friday. I'm having a near beer. You're familiar with having uh, worked for the Obama campaign with early in the afternoon because it's Friday. Holla Vegas, it's Friday. Holla all Sheree TV people around the world. It is Friday. It remains true that they're way out of line with public honest. The, the public it's Friday. does not want to shut the government down, and the public does not want I'm to I'm still keeping my ear to the so, streets. Uh, to the extent that Republicans align themselves with the Tea Party's... Now we know that the lady that ran the White House they gate... Being extremely upset with the general public. Bill, I've heard from she a was a sister. ...off the record, as I'm sure you have. You know, let me tell you something. I've been doing the news a long time, and uh, maybe I'm guilty of profiling, but usually certain things that people do, I can assume that there are certain race based on the crime. Some things are just crazy white boy things, and I can just say, okay, I know that when I go to air tonight, that's probably going to be a white guy that did this. Now I can't do that. Thank you, my love. I know. I was like, damn, I have the remote. She did that shit with the phone. That's deep when you can turn down your TV with the phone. It's not right. That's too much. Okay. That's deepness right there. But, um, you know, I talked about it last night, and I'll talk about it more tonight. I think that, you know, what we're seeing now is a rash of black people with mental problems. Um, hearing things from the microwave, uh, she thought that the president had her m monitored and that the president had the whole city or in the whole state of city of Stanford, Connecticut on lockdown and that he had bugs everywhere. I think that, uh, what that means is that, uh, you know, black people by and large, we need to make sure that we take care of our minds. And that, you know, we're not just crazy black people hearing things and not knowing what the hell is going on. Okay? This is this is definitely a racial thing. It's a cultural thing. You know, white people, they're not scared to go to a shrink. They'll go to a shrink in a minute. I have a lot of white friends and I know. All of them plus me, we all have shrinks. Holla at us. Okay? There's nothing wrong with going and seeking help. Well, baby doesn't have a shrink. <gasps> Miley Cyrus followed us on Twitter. Holla! That's right, because baby stuck up for her. Baby likes Miley Cyrus. Ba baby turned me on to her with the climb. That song is awesome. You know what I mean? Holla. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. Tell her she's awesome. She found Sheree and baby. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, you know. A lot, you know what I'm saying? That's just because, you know, culturally black people really don't go to see psychiatrists and engage in the whole mental health thing. You know what I mean? Because you have to realize it started out. Remember Miss Evers' vo boys? Remember that movie? Uh, about the syphilis experiment that was like experimented on black males. Remember that? I wasn't born yet. Baby wasn't born yet, but it's in the history books. It was a government experiment on black males where they injected them with syphilis. Was it syphilis or gonorrhea? I, don't know. I think it was syphilis. Okay, and gave them all syphilis. It was a real fucked up situation. You know, but, you know, stemming from that, you know, and then you go farther back to slavery. I mean, oh, shut up. shit. Illness is probably inbred in us. You know, just keeping it real, you know, from Darwinism probably plays into it from when we got here. Historic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, black people are strong. I mean, you think about slavery, you had to be strong, and then down through the generations, being strong, maybe, you know, it's inbred in us, and maybe we need more help than anybody. 
you know, just from a historical standpoint, you know. So, we're seeing more black people going crazy now with white people problems, hearing voices and shit. Being in the news, I'm used to that happening to white folks. But apparently now we have a rash of black folks that think that the microwave is talking to them and that the walls and the ceiling and the floor is talking to them. So we have a problem in black community, apparently, with mental illness. Okay? And you know what we need to do? We, we need to lift the veil of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Stigma. That's the word I'm looking for. We need to lift the veil of stigma and understand that the mind is simply a body part like the rest of us. Our leg, our arm, our neck, our back. You know what I'm saying? My neck, my back. I'm hearing the song now. Now I want to hear it.
good song. Woo! Kia. My neck, my back. My neck, my back. You can fill in the blanks. I felt good. You know what? Dancing is fun. The man. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what I was saying. We have a big problem here. So, I'm just saying, I don't think that black people should be scared to go seek mental counseling. Especially if you're hearing messages coming from walls and ceilings. You know, you have to talk to somebody about that. You can't just go through that by yourself. You are not alone. There is help for you. Just pick up the phone and dial 911. Tell them you're here and shit. And it don't make sense. Chick talking out the microwave. And you don't know what to say. You are not alone. No. Call. I love y'all.